Let's be honest, work has the ability to be incredibly stressful. You work long hours for too little pay, far too little vacation, and don't even get me started on the gender wage gap. So when work ends, you should try your best to just relax because Monday is coming around to start the cycle all over again. But let's not worry about that just yet because for now, it's finishing time or Feierabend, which was designed by Friedman Fries and published by 2F Spiel, who helped sponsor this video. Hey everyone, my name is Mike Murphy of the Brothers Murph. I'm here at Board Game Geek and I am ready to relax. So let's get this game down to the table as we go and focus on finishing time. In finishing time, one to six players will be trying to relax as best they can before having to go back to work. This may be accomplished through leisure, activity, or enjoying a vacation, but beware, your workers must return to the factory for work where they face less than favorable work conditions. On a turn, you may do one of three types of actions. First, you can place one to three workers in any combination on the house board. Here you can place workers in front of the bar to enjoy some cheap pints with friends and will earn two relaxation for a dollar. If you're light on cash, you can instead work behind the bar, which will cause you to lose two relaxation, but will gain you some spending money. If going out seems like too much energy, you can also place workers on the home space to rest for one relaxation per worker placed there. If you fancy going out on the town, you can enjoy the amusement board. Here you have three options of actions, but space is limited to one worker apiece. First, you can visit the theme park. There are all types of rides here, and you can spend three, four, or five dollars for five, seven, or nine relaxation, respectively. If you bring a partner with you on the ride, you get a bonus two relaxation for the same price. But to get a partner, it's time for a blind date. This costs $2 and isn't particularly relaxing, but gains you a partner for the rest of the game. If you have a partner already in your factory, you can take them with you for a night at the motel, where for a dollar, you can gain a whopping six relaxation. That motel is reasonably priced and I am feeling very relaxed now, but what can I do if I'm a little low on cash? The leisure board is the place to go for a bit of free relaxation. Here you can fish for two relaxation, enjoy the fitness trail for some endorphins and three relaxation, or you can bring a partner along for a motorcycle ride for four relaxation. Like the amusement board, here you may only place a worker on a space if it's unoccupied. The best way to relax, of course, is to take a vacation for some hard-earned R&R. Oh, this is uh, probably a bad time to let you know that your job doesn't actually give you any vacation time. There's also some low pay and pretty bad hours, but hey, you belong to a union, so be sure to visit the union board. Work conditions are fairly poor, but luckily your union has your back and you shouldn't be afraid to strike for better working conditions. Every time you go back to work, you will earn strike tokens and you can visit the union board to gain an additional three strike tokens. Once you have some strike tokens, on a turn rather than placing workers, you can strike for better working conditions. There are many areas where striking can help, including increasing your wages, closing the gender gap so your team is paid fairly, lowering your weekly hours work to bring down stress, and strengthening your union to gain even more ability to strike in the future. And most importantly, you can finally gain up to three weeks of vacation through striking. Once vacation is an option, it's another opportunity to spend some of your wages on relaxation. Here, depending on how much you've striked, you can take one, two, or three weeks of vacation. The longer the vacation, the more expensive it is, but the more relaxation you gain. You may have a worker vacation alone, or they may bring a partner with them. If they do so, they must pay double for the vacation, but also gain double the relaxation. Players may place workers out turn after turn, but eventually all workers will have left the factory and then it's time to go back to work. Here, first you will look at your working hours and lose relaxation based on how many hours you work. Luckily, each of your workers on vacation will reduce your stress by one. This will set you back, but hopefully you will be better off than last week. Next, you will gain income for your team, but if you haven't closed the gender gap, you will lose some of that income. Union support will then grant you strike tokens for the future. Finally, your workers and their partners will return to the factory. If any of your workers are on a three or two week vacation, they will slide down the column and will remain on vacation until they are in the center ring at the lake. However, they will not gain any more relaxation from this movement. Now it will be time to begin the work week again and hopefully you can gain even more relaxation and create a better working environment to reduce the drops in relaxation from working. Play will continue until a player reaches 40 relaxation. At that time, players will continue working until everyone has placed all of their workers out onto the board. If a player places out all their workers, they strike for better working conditions one last time and then gain one relaxation on all future turns until everyone else finishes. Once all players have placed out their workers, everyone will return to work one final time, gaining money and strike tokens and losing relaxation, and after the final return to work, the player with the most relaxation wins. 
Finishing time is all about finding a way to use your hard-earned wages effectively so that you can really relax. And when your work conditions aren't great, you can always strike and demand to be treated better. You can seize the power in this game and finally find that work-life balance you've always dreamed of. And if Finishing Time seems like a game you'd enjoy, consider checking out its page at BoardGameGeek.com to learn more. And until next time, I'm Mike Murphy, I've been here at BoardGameGeek, and we've been going in focus on Finishing Time. Have a great day.